Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating z-scores using SPSS. So I have here a fictitious data set in the data view. And you can see I have an ID in the first variable here. The second variable is a duration of treatment. And you have 6, 12, or 18 weeks. A third variable uh, that has male or female, two levels of that independent variable. And then three dependent variables, depression level, anxiety level, and substance use level. So let's assume for this research that all the participants uh, are known to have some level of depression, anxiety, and some level of substance use that is potentially disrupting functioning. So we have three different instruments that we used to provide these scores to us. Now, as you look at depression level, you can see uh, roughly just by a quick look that the low scores tend to be in the 30s and the high in the 60s. On the anxiety level uh, scale, you can see there's a 99, uh, there's a 3, so you can see a lot wider range. And then looking at the substance use uh, scale. You can see a low here. Uh, there's some in the near 100. And you can see there's one here at 140. So in this format, these uh, different scales are very hard to compare to one another. Additionally, in the format that they're in now, it would be difficult to create a composite score that has any real meaning. So we can independently evaluate the depression level, the anxiety level, and the substance use level. But how are we to know overall if, say, this participant uh, across these three dependent variables, if their symptoms are more or less severe than any other case here? Now, of course, we could look at other cases and try to find cases where, say, all three values are below. Like if you look at this case, look at the 1003 case and you compare it to the 1006 case all three scores are lower here for this but on many of these other variables one or two of the scores are higher so let's create z scores for each of these dependent variables so we'll go to analyze descriptive statistics then descriptives and we want to transform just the dependent variables into z-scores into right so that'd be depression level be one anxiety level be the second one and then substance use level be the third one so to convert these scores into z-scores you only have to do one more thing and that's to check off the save standardized values as variables so three new variables are going to be created because you've loaded three variables in to be transformed. So I'm going to check that box and click OK. And you can see it also provides the default descriptives here. And you can see there are three new variables and the name of the variable is the same except a Z has been placed in front of it. So you have Z depression level, Z anxiety level, and Z substance use level. So now we can compare these different scores to one another because they're standardized. Whereas over here they were not standardized. So a Z score has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So looking at some of the examples here, this one's close to zero. So this is close to the mean, case 1010. And in the same case, you have in the substance use level 1.5z. So in this case, a little more than one and a half standard deviations above the mean because it's 1.51738. So it's, it's more than one and a half standard deviations above the mean. And of course, the negative values, like say in this uh, case here for 1008, negative 1.32, 
that score represents 1.32428 standard deviations below the mean. So converting into z-scores makes these variables, this output, much more interpretable. But I also want to build a composite score of all three of these. So for that, we'll go over to transform and compute variable. And let's just call the target variable uh, composite. And now we want to enter a numeric expression here. So I'm going to start with uh, opening parentheses. And I want to use the z-scores here. So I'll, I'll move, move this one over. And then I'll add uh, the anxiety. So I have depression, the z-depression level, z-anxiety level. Uh, added together, and then I'm going to add the uh, substance use level score. And I want to take the average, so I'm just going to divide by 3 because I have three variables. And again, this is going to create a new variable uh, named composite. So you can see here's the composite of these three variables. So if we want to look at all three instruments, what they tell us, all the data taken together for any one case, we can now see a z-score that's a composite of all three instruments. So we can compare cases across all three instruments using this composite score. Whereas, as I mentioned before, that would be difficult to do without such a conversion if we're just trying to use the output from the instruments directly. I hope you found this video on calculating z-scores in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.